Manufacturers don't understand that they're becoming data companies. Like, they, they simply seem not to understand. Like, the leadership doesn't understand that they're becoming data companies. Which brings me to this video about Kevin O'Leary. Uh, I remember watching this video um, the other day. I think it's uh, Kevin O'Leary or whatever, one of those shark guys, um, entrepreneur, or something like that. And um, this video popped up. Uh, in my feed the other day, and I had never seen it before. I think it actually was yesterday, and I had never seen it before. But it was, it, it popped up at basically the right time because I've been having a lot of conversations about manufacturing in general. And you know, common question people get ask me is, you know, um, I'm going to be on this panel for the ISA coming up. You know, IoT readiness panel, and um, and in my one of my pre calls, someone had asked me. Um, actually, two, this question came up twice. I was consulting for a like a venture capital firm earlier this week, and and the the question came up. Same question came up in the pre call, in the pre prep call for ISA, which was what's what's the biggest thing that manufacturers don't understand about. Um, industry 4.0 or the industrial internet of things and its impact or implications for their business and that's an easy question to answer okay and the answer is is that manufacturers don't understand that they're becoming data companies like they they simply seem not to understand like the leadership doesn't understand that they're becoming data companies which brings me to this video about Kevin O'Leary I had answered that question twice, okay, and um, it, for in the, you know consulting for this VC group, and then you know in the pre-call for this ISA um, session that I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be sitting in on, and then this video pops up, and, and um, I'll have Zach link the video to you know I think it's a short or something, but O'Leary talks about how his son was. Um, interning at Tesla. His son asked his dad, hey, are you invested in Tesla at all? And O'Leary basically says, no, that's fucking crazy. You know, there's nothing about Tesla that makes me think that they're, you know, that, you know, he, he believes their stock price is overpriced. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and his son said, and, and O'Leary made the comment about manufacturing. And his son said, I don't remember if his son insulted his dad and said, like, you're an idiot or whatever. I can't remember the exact context of the video. But his son did say, Dad, you don't get it. Okay? You know, what I learned at Tesla is that Tesla is not a car company. They're a data company. And they're run as such. And they understand the value of data. Not just the internal data. Okay. Again, what's data? It's something that happened and when it happened. And what's the value of data? Well, it's in the transformation, right? It's the transformation of data into information. And information is something you can make decisions with. Either human beings or other programs can make decisions with, right? If you look at the best companies in the world, they all understand that data, the collection of data, the normalization of data, the transformation of data into information to make better decisions is the future of their organization, the uh, future of their business. And, w you know, what we preach is that when you're putting in, when you're developing a digital strategy and you're implementing an infrastructure and an architecture that's centered around collecting all data, getting it in one place, and then transforming that into information... And when we, and this is why we talk about why digital thread doesn't work because you can't collect all data with digital thread, right? There's all sorts of context and data that you're missing. When you're an organization who understands that and you implement the correct strategy, use the right architecture with the right technology, you're taking the first big step, which is becoming a digital company. But you're taking that first step in in service of the of the next big step, which is plugging into a digital supply chain, okay? Taking your digital business and plugging it into a digital supply chain. And there are all other whole, whole other host of videos where I talk about why, what's the value of that. But the big thing, remember, the big thing that you want to achieve 
is you want to be fully closed loop. One, one technology, one stack, one infrastructure where um, from raw material all the way to consumer, all the way back to raw material supplier is fully integrated. Okay, That's what the digital supply chain is. Right, That's digital companies plugged into digital supply chains. And so it, it, all around me and all the questions that are getting asked of me um, over and over and over again, the predominant question that keeps coming up now, especially lately, is what's the one thing that manufacturers don't get right now? What is it that they don't get about the implications of digital transformation on their business? And that is that they're becoming a data company. They're, they're becoming data companies. Um, and you need to ask yourself this. You ask your organization, ask your clients, what are you doing to become a company whose primary commodity is data? You know, it doesn't matter what you make. It doesn't matter what widget you manufacture. It doesn't matter what raw material you provide to some widget manufacturer. If you're not a data company, then you are on the fast track to obsolescence. It's just that simple. All right. Um, Sunday morning, you know, the, the quick little spe- <laughs> spiel here. Sunday morning, you know, the work never ends. I'm heading to the office. I've got a meeting with the executive leadership at noon to uh, finalize a couple of strategies um, to answer some questions for some clients of ours who are having some challenges with internal, you know, internal resistance or internal buy-in um, on um, architecture and strategy. Par for the course happens all the time. Hopefully, your Sunday is a little more relaxing than mine. But if you are working, let's hope that you kick ass and take names. Please remember to like, subscribe, share the video with whoever would benefit from it, and we'll see you in the next one.